What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Oles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you essential tips and tricks to know about the Asus ROG Ally. These are going to be things that you definitely want to know how to do to make your life easier with this. Now I have made a video already about the macro buttons. Those are the buttons on the back here and some tips and tricks that you can do with those. So those would be considered essential, I would say, but I made a separate video about those. These ones are going to be a little bit different. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So first of all would be to check for updates. There's going to be multiple places to check for updates on this device. The first one is Armory Crate. Armory Crate is this button right here. If you press that, it's going to bring up your Armory Crate. So once you're in Armory Crate, go over to Content and then go into Update Center and do check for updates. This will check for updates on here. And I wanna let you know that you'll do updates in here. And even after you do the update, come back in here and see if there's any more because it might cause other things to do an update as well. So keep that in mind that once you do an update, just come in here and once you don't see anything, like currently I don't, let's see, I don't think I have anything. Yeah, I don't have any updates. I'm all caught up with my Armory Crate updates. The next updates that you might want are in the My Asus app. So you can find that just by going to search. There's multiple ways to get it. And you can just type in Asus and it should come up My Asus. You might have to log in and sign in. So do all that stuff. Once you're signed in, what you can do here is you can come in to your Essential updates, you'll see it might even, it should be like right here. It'll say if you have an essential update, come in here, see if you have any. And what you can do is you have to be plugged in in order to do these updates. Mine saying we found updates. Please save your files before restarting your system. So I'm going to hit restart because it's already done the update, but you can hit check all or check to see if there's any updates and it'll automatically do that for you. Now mine's are automatically doing one right now. So I'll let this finish up and I'll see you on the other side. So since we did an update in that already, we're gonna actually gonna go back into that My Asus um, app update. So this time we'll go in through the windows and then I should have it right here, but you can search for it at the top as well. If you don't see it already, come back in here. It still says essential update. We'll come back in here and I have an AMD graphics driver update and it looks like it already did it so I am good on that but I can always hit check to see if I have any other updates and I don't so that's all good there but again if you wanted to check it some easy ways to do that is just to go into customer support live update and then check that's how you can manually check for it you might also have Windows updates so go into here search type in updates check for updates and this will tell you if you have any, I'm gonna hit check for updates. This is just gonna check Windows in general to see if you have any updates. And you can see I'm up to date, so I'm good. So that's the three places that you would want to end up checking for updates. Next would be if you wanna force quit an app. So what you're gonna do is you have this triangle button right here. If you press and hold that from any screen that you're on, it'll actually allow you to go into here and you can come in here and you can go into task manager and you can choose the app that you want. Maybe I want the My Asus app to close down. So I'm just gonna hit select on that and then I can hit end task and that will close out the app completely. So if you're having an issue with an app, just press and hold that. It opens up your task manager and you can close an app really quickly. Now the next one, click on your triangle again, just press it once. And you're gonna see here enabled embedded controller. If you wanna use a controller that's external to what you have right here, you have to disable this and you'll be able to use your controller external like an Xbox or a PlayStation 5 controller on this, but you have to uh, disable that. And if you have any issues with using this controller, come in here and enable this back. Next would be the fingerprint sensor. If you have to re-add your fingerprint sensor, go into search. All you gotta do is type in fingerprint if you wanna re-add or add a different finger, whatever you want. You'll see setup fingerprint sign in. You can come in here and you can see fingerprint recognition, tap on that. And then you can do setup. You can either add a new finger or remove it. And that's how you can set up a fingerprint sensor. Next, let's go into Armory Crate, tap that. You can come into settings. And in settings, if you want to remap your buttons, you'll go into control mode, go into configuration, and you are gonna see gamepad mode. You can come in here and change what certain buttons do for you or control the dead zones and all of that. You can come in here. Let's go back in here. If you want the trigger to be 
a certain intensity. You can change all that. Map buttons, you just have to click on it. Like for instance, if I want the left trigger to do something, I can have it do a secondary function too as well. I can make it a left bumper and this is all within the game mode if you want, or you can have it do a certain action such as open something specific or do something on your keyboard or your number pad or do something as a mouse. So it's kind of cool. There's a lot of functionality you can do with certain things on here. And obviously you can change that as well when you go into um, your buttons here as well. So for instance, if you're in desktop mode, you can go with configuration. If you want to have the right stick do something uh, specific, I can just click on the right stick over here, tap that it's unassigned and I can have it do something specific like I just mentioned earlier, I can have it do a, a keyboard function or a numpad or whatever I want. Another one you probably definitely want to change is go into lighting, settings, and there's one here that says, like when you're charging, you might notice that when your tablet goes to sleep or whatever, it's like blinking these <laughs> where the joysticks are. You can turn it off right here. It makes it a lot better. And also, you can come in here when it's awake. You can basically turn off any of the lighting settings that you want, depending upon if it's boot up and shut down or whatever. Um, for me, it's not really that important to have any of these lighting effects on. They use battery and I generally just don't need them at all. For If you want to turn any and all off, you do it right here. Also, if you want a quick way of restarting your device, press and hold the triangle. And you can come in here and do all that stuff like the task manager, but you can also go into power mode and restart or put you to sleep or shut down your device. Another cool one is if you press and hold the armory crate button, it'll tell you what buttons do for where you are. You can see if anything's been assigned or unassigned or set up at all. It'll tell you what it does. So there you guys go. That is some quick tips and tricks that I think they're really essential for the ROG Ally. If you want to pick one of these up, you should. It's a really awesome device. I'll link it down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.